Hello everyone, welcome back to MGF 1106. In this, in this video, we'll be discussing probability in another method. Uh, we look at it, uh, probability from different uh, uh, perspectives, uh, different angles. Uh, in the previous uh, video, we, we know that the probability is always less than or equal to 1. It cannot be greater than 1. So, for the, the probability of the event, for the event happening and the probability uh, for the event not happening if they add them up give you one we also know that fact okay now if we go ahead and set up the ratio between the probability of the event and the probability of a uh, event failure we set that up the ratio if we go ahead and set up the ratio, we we have another concept we call odds. Okay, so odds is just the ratio between two probability, a successful probability of the event and the failure, uh, and the probability of the failure of the event. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna do that in this video. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to put over here, the topic for today is art. Okay, art. Okay, and uh, we have uh, two different types of art. Uh, the first type of art we call art against an event. Not against an event. Okay. Okay. Art against an event. And uh, the art against is an event it actually is actually equal to. Okay. This is equal to the ratio. So I just talked about the ratio. A ratio between two probability. Uh, so probability because it's again so on the top we have a probability of the event failure. So probability over here of event uh, fail to occur. Okay, fail to occur. So I'm gonna put over here event failure. Let's just make it faster. Okay. Over the probability of the event success. There you go. Okay. So it's just the art. It's just the, uh, the ratio between two probability. Okay. And another type of art. Another type of art. Is the art in favor of the event? In favor of an event. So this is also equal to ratio, but the reciprocal of this ratio. So it will be on the top, you're gonna have event success, and at the bottom, you will have probability of event failure. Okay. Now let's start with the example. Okay. As I believe me, as long as you know, uh, you understand the concept of probability, the art is very easy. Example number one. Okay, let's say we have uh, something like this. Uh, <coughs> 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 Excuse me. So um, you are there with one card from fifty-two deck, and we want to find the art in favor. Get a red queen. Okay, so got it in favor. So we need to get the probability of an assessor of getting a, a red queen. Uh, so we have only four queen of fifty-two. So probability in this case will be. Uh, 
a four of fifty two. Okay. Uh, so this is the probability of the event success. Then what is the probability of the event failure? So there are only four red queen diamond heart spade and club so the rest of them will be uh so 48 52 so it will be 48 over 52 so this is a probability of not getting the red queen now i'm gonna go ahead and set up the ratio <coughs> so you're gonna end up with the odd is equal to the guy in favor so it's the event success so mean 4 over 52 over 48 over 52 in this case so you're gonna have up with like 4 over 48 which is 1 over uh, 48 divided by 4 <laughs> 1 over 12 okay so 1 over 12 it give you the the art of the art in favor give you the art in favor okay so usually so they're gonna put like this uh, uh, one over twelve so the art over here you're gonna put will be one twelve like that okay Alright, now that's for part A. For part B, I find the odds against so red queen. So it's easy to do the same thing, but uh, you just make it a reciprocal. So I right, from 52 for 52. So you're gonna have will be 12, 1. So the odd over here will be, the odd over here against will be 12, 1. Okay. <coughs> Good. So it will be 12 to 1. If you go ahead and read this, it will be 1 to 12. Okay. It's 1 to 12. It's 12 to 1. Okay. See? Very easy, yeah? Huh? Very easy. Okay. Now, uh, let's do another example. Let's see. Example number two. So I have a winner with a raffle. We received two years scholars to scholar student. If 1,000 raffle ticket was sold and you purchase five ticket, what is the art? against your winning and you purchase five ticket okay so let's see how we do this if 1000 raffle were sold and you purchase five ticket what is the art against your winning uh, okay so we need to find a probability of winning for us uh, so probability of winning <coughs> will be what will be five out of a thousand <coughs> right no if a raffle ticket was sold and you purchase fire ticket Okay, so mean five of thousand. Okay, of winning. This is the probability of winning. So the probability of fa failing will be uh, 995 over thousand. Right? 
yeah so in this case uh so the art so you can calculate the arts will be again so 95 art against winning so this uh failing against winning against winning so we have 95 over a thousand uh let me back. so we have 995 over a thousand divide by five over a thousand so you can have 195 over five so you have uh 199 to one that is the art that is the art 199 to one okay <clears throat> so this is what does it mean it mean that uh, out of 199 there's only one of them um one of them is is is, is winning okay 199k is there's only one of them is winning that's what that's what it means over there okay good I just uh, want to find something <clears throat> more example for you to do. Uh, let's just wait on me a little bit here so that I can uh, find something for you to do. More example. Uh, Uh, let's see I can get another uh, example number three here I, I don't want to give you something crazy so I want to pick the problem really the standard problem is good, so that you can do it everybody can do uh, how about this one right here uh for 15 t-shirt 10 a gray random what is out of this select a gray t-shirt <sighs> okay so first of all probability of getting a gray t-shirt will be 10 over 15 so it will be 2 over 3 so the probability of not getting the t-shirt this is the probability of getting gray t-shirt okay so probability of not getting uh, a great t-shirt will be a 5 out of 15 so one third not getting see that easy great t-shirt and now we can set up the art will be in favor so it will be so it will be two over three over one over third so the art will be two to one okay this art will be two to one so i mean what i mean out of three time two times you're gonna get a t-shirt and one time you're not getting a t-shirt okay that's what i need out of out of 190 out of 200 time this is 109 this up 200 you have 189 or 199 times you get uh you uh you you fail 
and only one time you win. That's what I said. Out of 13 times, you have 12 times, uh, have 12 time, uh, get, uh, not getting a red queen and only one, only one time getting a red queen. That's what it means. That's what the odds mean. Okay. I, I, I think I say 199 time before, but it's out of 200 times. It's 199 time you get the, you, you not getting, uh, the scholarship and only one time you get a scholarship. Uh, uh, you mean, um, yeah. Winning to stick again is the winning. Uh, so this is uh, two hundred time, one in ninety nine time winning, and the other time not winning. Okay. B. The art in favor uh, is fourteen. So the art in favor. So the art in favor. Oh, so this time they give you the art in favor already. So the art in favor is a probability of success over the probability of failure and they know the ratio is 43 to 27 what is the probability that you pass the test okay so how we do that um uh, so they give you the art already now we they they going back and they want us to find the probability Of, um, of passing the test okay so so you see that over here we have uh, 43 and 27 you add them up so the ratio over here is 43, 20, uh, 43 and 17 I'm sorry 43 17 so I mean out the total over here will be 43 plus 17 which is 60 okay so you see that the total probability of failure and a success is the total is 60 Okay, so we want to find the probability of success because that's what that's what it is. So let's see how we do that. <coughs> uh, so so we can get the probability of success here. The total is sixty. So we have forty three over 60 okay and the probability of fair fellow will be 17 over 60 mm. <coughs> okay <coughs> so that's how that's how you do so because the total is 60 this is the total the part this is the uh, the probability of success and failure is total. So the probability of success will be 43 over this. Okay. All right. <coughs> see? Very easy. All right. Now let's see if we can do another example uh, regarding to uh, question B right here. Example number four. Uh, okay, so the odd against particular horse winning is fifteen one. So again, they give us the odd already. They ask us to find probability, so they give the the odd. So the odd in uh, again, so it will be probability of failure over the probability of success is uh, fifteen to one. Okay, so the total, the probability, total probability uh, 
will be 15 plus 1 is 16. 5 dot odd in favor. We need a 5 find the odd in favor and a 5 the probability of the horse winning. So the probability of the horse winning. I mean, uh, we want to find P success will be 1 over 16. Okay, 1 over 16. So that's the probability of winning the race. Now we go ahead and find the odds. Odds of uh, in favor. So odds in favor will be P success over p failure should be 150 okay that will be easy good right. so for uh, in uh in order to find the probability based on the art you need to find the total probability okay the total probability so it mean in this case it, let me explain this it mean out of 16 cases out of 16 case the 15 of them uh you're not winning that's you can understand like that uh, and only one case you get winner okay so the art is this is terrible right <laughs> out of 16 or 15 of them already fail only one for success okay good all right so that is uh, another way to look at the probability concept uh, next time again next time we're gonna uh, see if we can go ahead and use uh, um, we can understand the compound uh, probability okay uh, which is we use concept of union and intersection to find uh, probability okay again if you have any question please let me know uh, do not hesitate sometimes you have careless mistake please uh, try to point out if I have I don't think I have but just in case you have a if I have any kind of mistake or you pan out or there's something wrong, please let me know, okay? Alright, I'll see you next time.